Welcome back. The water is one of the allures of the Bay Area, but humans are posing a major threat. A new study found every year more than 3 billion pieces of plastic float through downtown Tampa, and each is capable of breaking into thousands of additional microplastics. In tonight's Full Circle Report, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is diving into this topic, meeting the people leading the charge in the fight against pollution. Trash. It is more than just an eyesore. It is devastating ecosystems and marine life. While plastics entangle sea turtles, oh, this has been a cool time. abandoned ghost traps kill with impunity. Jeez. These can kill for years, three, four, five years until they degrade. And you know, just think about the volume of death. Let's see what this is right here. We cruise the waters around Fort DeSoto with Neil Holland, the president of Ocean Aid 360, his gaze locked on the horizon. So we see some buoys on the surface over here in the distance. We're going to check them out and investigate. So we got two traps here. As soon as we got on the boat, we were able to pull out five of these huge traps. So Lee's going to, Lee Power's going to try to hook this. They got to pull it up and then they got to see whether or not it's illegal. If it's illegal, they pull it out. If it's legal to be here, of course they leave it in. So this is a pinfish trap. This is probably a commercial bait operation. But it didn't take long to fish out the bad ones. So many people fed up with the carousel of trash, a record number volunteered for this year's Ghost Trap Rodeo, countless animals saved. This is what everybody's looking for during stone crab season, and we want to make sure it's out there swimming in the grass beds instead of getting uh, killed in ghost traps that are no longer being checked. All these fish and crabs got yeah. super lucky today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a great way to think about it. They did get super lucky. Plastic we didn't used to see at all, and now it's definitely becoming more prevalent. Do you remember the first time you cut into a dead baby turtle and saw plastic and what your reaction was? I do. I was. It was very startling. It, it's unfortunately a rainbow of plastic. Veterinarians on both sides of the bay fight a never-ending battle. Animals that call Clearwater Marine Aquarium and the Florida Aquarium home are plastic-free. Their wild counterparts are not so lucky. I would say we're seeing it in a pretty significant percentage, probably easily over 75%. So that turtle swallowed this giant piece whole. Yep, and we're very lucky that he was able to get it out. Um, had it wadded up in a certain way or even twisted to create kind of like that long skinny, it could have caused a much different outcome for him. How much plastic is out there? A lot. For five minutes, there was plastic everywhere. And then after that, it was looking like this again, like clean and nice, nothing going on. And our net would be out and we would sample for a couple of hours. To get her PhD at USF, Charlotte Haberstroer spent 18 months on the Hillsborough River collecting plastics. I mean, it's, it's huge. Like, honestly, when I first started this, I was like slightly worried. What if I set all this research and then I don't actually find plastic in the river? Boy, was she wrong. 3.33 billion plastic pieces per year moving out of the Hillsborough River into the bay. I had no idea how much was actually making it its way out to the bay, so we've been trying to prevent that. A year in, the litter skimmer scooped up more than 26,000 pounds of trash around downtown Tampa. They're not just pulling out plastics like this Windex bottle. They have huge pieces of debris like this timber that's actually wrapped together, floating on the surface. They got to get this out so a boater or a kayaker or a jet ski doesn't hit it, and that could cause a lot of damage. It's a surprise every time. We got a kiddie pool in here right now that we just found the other day. Of course, we got some plastic bags. Plastic is always our number one thing. At Tampa's oldest water treatment plant, giant screens and rakes. Got a little bit of stuff this time. Stand guard to protect our drinking water. If it gets into the, into the pumps, some of it may get chopped up into even smaller pieces, which will be filtered out later on in the process. But then, more importantly, it'll damage our, uh, our pumps. One plastic bottle, not in Tampa Bay. The pollution can feel overwhelming. Nice job, guys. Woo. 
but hope comes in the form of everyone in this report. All right, it's a big one. Doing something to make a difference. It's very easy to have one of these on your boat. Take your bottles and your beer cans and your fun, and just when you're done with it, just put it in here. It's okay. Oh, nice, great job. Dude, how did it feel, your first rodeo? It was really fun. We were pulling up a lot of these cages, and honestly, it was more fun than I thought it would be. We got nice volunteers out here spending their half Saturday with us and uh, donating their time and their resources with their boat and their fuel. That's not paid for today. They're out here using their own resources to make an improvement for Tampa Bay. In Tampa Bay with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.